Hello everyone, welcome to Educare 247. This is the 12th lecture of a special series for SEBI grade A examination 2020. In our 12th lecture, we are discussing MCQ on Six Sigma. This topic is very important for your upcoming examination. You can watch other lectures on our YouTube channel and you can subscribe to Educare 247 for further updates. Humanity is going through one of the biggest crises from their existence. At this moment, knowledge and science is the only hope. You are also advised to not roam around unnecessarily, sit at your home and maintain social distancing. While sitting at your home, you can easily prepare through Educare SEBI Grade A 2020 crash course. Educare is giving 50% discount on this course and it will be called as Corona Learning. In this course, we are covering the detailed syllabus. Topic by MCQs will be provided. Complete coverage of paper 2 will be there. And GS of paper 1 will be covered. Descriptive English part will be covered. Our notes are crisp and concise. And we are providing video lecture for important topics as well. Live doubt session will be there. You can get this course at the price of 1499. So after getting 50% discount, you'll get this course in 1499. You can visit educare247.com and subscribe to this course. The first question is Six Sigma is a business driven multi dimensional structured approach to option A is reducing process variability. Option B is increasing customer satisfaction. Option C is lowering defects. Option D is improving processes and option E is all of the above. The answer is all of the above. Six Sigma is for everything. Basically in any organization, it is a measure of quality that strives to near perfection. So it comes in a various forms. In some organization, it will be operational excellence. In some organization, it will be zero defects. In some organization, it will be customer perfection. So basically, it is a disciplined data driven approach where different methodology will be used to eliminate defects near to six standard deviation. So that is very important. So this technique will be applied to reduce the defect and to improve the customer satisfaction and to increase the process variability. So this is the thing and this is very important. It can be applied in either manufacturing or product based organization or in services or in transactional. So anywhere it can be applied in any kind of organization Six Sigma can be applied. The next question is the percentage yield in Six Sigma is which of the following? The answer is D 99.99966. So basically this much defect can be reduced. So it is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement. It was first introduced by Bill Smith while working in Motorola in 1986 and in later General Electric applied in a business strategy and that is Gel Wilk in 1995. So it can reduce the defects up to 99.99966 percentage with the help of different statistical and different methodology. So that is very important. The next question is which among the following is the lowest certification of Six Sigma? The answer is white belt. So basically Six Sigma certification is much like classification followed in martial art like it begins with white belt and person can further upskill and they, it can reach to master black belt. In martial art the same system is being followed. So you can see that white belt is about basic understanding of Six Sigma, history, concept and different methods. Yellow belt is about overall Six Sigma theory, processes and demic. Green belt is about introduction of tools and methods for the problem solving and demic. Black belt is about application of Six Sigma in business transformation and master black belt is about master skill to lead the long term business transformation using Six Sigma tool. So basically you will learn basics then you will further improve and then you will further improve. So this is the certification one can do for the Six Sigma. It starts with white belt and it goes to master black belt. You can remember this sequence. It can be asked in the examination. The next question is which of the following is not the part of DEMIC 
method of six sigma the answer is b allocate so basically six sigma uses various methods to discover deviation and one of that method is demic that is basically a data driven management process which will be used in the process for optimizing and improving business processes so basically it is defined d is for define m is for measure and c is for analyze i is for improve and c is for control so you can remember this table it can be asked in the examination and it is very important for taking the customer focus approach so this method can be used for the customer focus approach and it is basically method of data and statistics so both can be clubbed and this method can be applied in the business process the next question is what does poka yoke means the answer is mistake proofing basically it is a kind of six sigma techniques basically six sigma method is full of statistical and data analysis tools it can be qualitative and quantitative technique that can be used for desired outcomes so basically this is the list of six sigma techniques that is brainstorming root cause analysis that is five ways technique voice of customer five s system kaizen benchmarking poka yoke that is mistake proofing and last one is value stream mapping so these are very useful techniques that has been used with time in six sigma hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video subscribe to educare 247 thank you and happy learning